Structure of Bone Objective To learn the basic structure of bone. As part of the skeleton of vertebrates, bones offer support and protection to various organs of the body. In addition, they have the ability to produce blood cells and store minerals. A bone has an elongated hollow central body, referred to as diaphysis, and two terminal parts known as epiphysis. All bones are surrounded by a tough layer of connective tissue, known as periosteum. It is through this tissue that blood vessels pass, carrying oxygen and nutrients to the bone. Inside this periosteum is a thick layer of cortical bone, commonly referred to as compact bone. This outer shell of the bone is dense, strong, and resistant to bending. Because of these characteristics, it makes up about 80% of the skeleton. This dense layer is filled with organic ground substance and inorganic salts. In between these substances are very tiny spaces that contain the bone cells known as osteocytes. As compact bone matures, it develops a network of interconnecting vascular canals, referred to as haversion canals, which contain blood vessels that supply nutrients to osteocytes. The compact bone will surround the haversion canals in layers known as osteons. Inside the compact bone is the cancellous bone, commonly referred to as spongy bone or tribecular bone. This layer is filled with numerous large spaces, giving it a spongy or honeycomb-like appearance. The porous nature of the spongy bone does not add mass to the overall structure, but still provides greater strength and rigidity. Inside the bones can be found a soft, spongy tissue known as bone marrow. There are two types of bone marrow, red and yellow. Red marrow, which consists largely of hematopoietic tissue, is responsible for the production of red and white blood cells as well as platelets. Yellow marrow consists largely of fat cells and produces some white blood cells. Summary Bone is an organ composed of dense connective tissue. Bones are covered by periosteum, while its two main layers are compact bone and spongy bone. The hollow portion of the long bones is filled with marrow. Red marrow produces blood cells. Yellow marrow produces some white cells.